near my life! Fucking ass burgers and kitty sprinkles and shit storm surprise! Press the any button. Any fucking button will do. I don't see a button labeled ANY on my controller! this loads, I am Katana. I am the one who says you may call me, and I demand that you do so, a fucking idiot. Um. Hello, pause menu. <laughs> Didn't expect to see you here. Stand by. seconds of latency between when I say things and when I can hear them on my live screen. Stand by once more. I have to type in words. <laughs> there, words have been typed in. I'm good to go. And no, I'm not drunk! You're stupid! I mean, sober! Fuck it! Words! Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I was over cucumbered. And I don't have a level up to uh, mitigate that with. So, it is time for me to drop one pound of weight. Uh, food! <laughs> I will get drunk. <laughs> yes, in game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> emerge and exit from the insides of this ah, building. Ah, hello. I, I offer greetings to you. Ah, hello. I offer greetings to you, yes? Kajit asked but for a moment of your time. Never mind what I was about to say. <laughs> I shall... Hmm. Uh-huh. Speak, my kin! But no, I have my eye on you. Yes, we could eat. We are stealthy little thieves. My apologies. I did not mean to cause apprehension. I shall Whoa! explain my encroachment. Hey! First of all, my name is Jagar. I work for an organization known as the East Empire Trading Company. This area I was busy surveying. When, to my surprise, I see someone enter this dungeon in a manner most brazen. Ah, and yes. more surprising still, to see you emerge, clearly victorious. Yeah, that might be an overstatement, actually. Well, I just did things. Your humility is well practiced. There are few who possess the prowess you have demonstrated. During your venture, I'm sure you came across many trinkets and items of value. These places are usually filled with such. But yes, some items you had to leave behind, yes? It is uh, yes. impractical to carry out all that we might like. This 
is why I approached. Shagal ah. wishes to offer you a service to assist with this problem. Awesome. In short, if you are to gather and then store all the items you wish to take from a place such as this, Shakar can ensure collection and delivery of all these items, allowing you to take your fill of plunder. This is the service I offer. Fuck yeah. And what do you want in return? You are wise to know I would want something. Yes. In exchange for providing you this service, I would ask that you allow my group, the East Empire Company, to lay a temporary claim to any territory you have cleared. Once an area has been purged of hostile presence, I would dispatch a clerk to survey and catalog the site's value. But do not misunderstand. We would not be taking any items or treasure. Through your efforts, these, of course, would belong to you. I don't really get it, personally. I mean... I'm, I'm more than willing to share some of my plunder, my booty. Not my actual booty, but you know, profits. So why wouldn't you want any treasures? I would like to take all the treasure for myself, of course. But I believe <laughs> the best business transactions leave all involved parties satisfied. Since you will be doing most of the work, it is only fair all the spoils go to you. Otherwise, your incentive to help me is not so much. Treasure is nice, but long-term and stable profit is better. Well, yeah, but... I don't see how you make any profit off of just cataloging things. I mean, that's fine if you're a librarian or a historian or some sort of anthropo anthropologist. <clears throat> I mean, what, why? Why do you, why do you want to survey and catalog? There is value to places beyond the objects held within. For example, its location may have strategic importance. There may be okay. natural resources or historical and cultural significance to the area. These okay. things have worth. But first, yeah. these aspects must be correctly identified and then recorded. It is a matter of... Bureaucracy, one might say. <laughs> that is you. why I wish to lay a temporary claim to these places. Okay, temporary claim. That's obvious. So, what more about your company then? In truth, I have not been with the company long. I am a junior trader. But I can tell you that the East Empire is a large and powerful group. It has many branches across the face of Tamriel, and is responsible for a vast amount of trade. However, its presence in Skyrim is... not as secure as it could be. Shakar intends to change this. I like your name. For some reason... I don't know why. It makes me think of Khan from Star Trek 2. Right, your terms are way too lopsided in my favor. But why the fuck not? Ah, this news is wonderful. You have made a good decision, I think. Here, you must take these. Place the relic East inside the container. Relic. And I'll be made aware of its location, and of your desire for the items held within to be transported. Anything gathered will be moved to an East Empire trade camp for your future collection. Of course, right now, there is only the one... I had to exit the conversation because... A ludicrous... Absurd... 
Oh, Katana, you idiot, strike again! Type of idea came to my mind. Will it remove quest items that I don't pick up from a container? For example, Meridia's Beacon. Could I just, you know, permanently remove it from the loot pool? By having it stored at the East Empire Trading Company. <laughs> oh, this this idea is fucked up. <laughs> it's delicious. I love it. But in time, there shall be more. Of course, right now there is only the one camp. But in time, there shall be more. Wonderful. What are these devices? Hmm. I am unsure. It is something discovered by my business associate, but he too knows little of them. What we do know is that the relic you hold react with another kind of apparatus, one that I have right here. When roused, the relic I gave you behave as... Uh, Beacons, emitting bright light into a dark sky. I speak figuratively, of course. The apparatus that I hold allows me to see where that light is coming from, and acts much like a compass, guiding me to the light source. That is awesome. So, you only have one trade camp. Can we build more? To be more exact, officially, the camp is not truly a part of the East Empire's mercantile presence in Skyrim. At least ah. not yet. Uh? Instead, the current camp and the more that shall be built represent a personal endeavor. But have no ah. fear. In time, there shall be more camps. I'd bet my whiskers on it. Dude, you can grow those whiskers back. That's not much of a bet. Shagar has certainty that you win. Also, I should mention, any area in which you use a relic must be either cleared of any hostile creatures or be out within the open. Otherwise, my couriers will be unable to gather what you have stored. And remember, once collected, your items will be available from any current or future trade camp you send them to. Mm. Oh, have yeah. you understood all I have said? If you wish, we can test out a relic right now, so you may see how they work. That's a nice butterfly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, demonstration, yes? The demonstration shall be nice and simple, yes. First, take this. We can use this junk for our test. Now, let us enter an area you have cleared. Or, for that matter, any other place with a container we can use. Then, all you need Empty to do wine bottle, is place iron, that junk handle, and the relic book. inside of a suitable receptacle. Lead on, and I shall follow. Okay, dude. Just one moment. Where is the third? About it. I'm sorry, wait, what? I'm catching butterflies, dude. Where did the third one go? There it is. Ah, gotcha. Wait. <laughs> Son of a... Thank you, Skeever. That's very nice of you. I don't want to get rid of any of those. I got a farm to make later on. Wait, hold on. <laughs> How am 
much do these things weigh? Point one weight? I'm a, I'm at three fifteen out of three fifteen. Precisely. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Potions. Um. Increases. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I don't use those. So getting it out of the way. Restore health. Restore magic. Restore stamina. Increased carrying. I almost said capacity. Capacity for 300 seconds. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay, wonderful. Now, where was that other fellow who ran by? Go over here. Never mind. I'm sure I'll not worry about seeing him again soon. the relic and items to deliver in a container within Pine Watch. Okay. Carefully. I didn't move, dude. Right, okay. So Bob, where did you go? Why are you not following me? This one needs something. Yeah, you you wanted to demonstrate your thing there, but you're not following me into the place here. Did fighting that skeever freak you out? Okay, maybe not. Bandito. All right, hold on. I am going to save. Careful, that's there. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Should be missing a lanyard. Broken. Store it. I'm not getting rid of my bucket. Burnt book. Store it. East Empire Relic. Wine bottle. East Empire relic. You must place the junk items I gave you into a container along with the relic. Yeah, they're in there. <clears throat> so is the relic. It doesn't say I completed it. Apparently I can't put it on a dead guy. Carefully. If you didn't spawn inside of me when we exited a building... You must place the junk items I gave you into a container along with the relic. We must find a container with which we can test the relic. Apparently, I cannot... Hey, he blinks. Not very well, but damn, that's good. Nice. Progress. Apparently, I can't put it on a Please corpse. Need something? So, uh, yeah, there it is. Yada, yada, yada. Turn off, you.
Lights out. <laughs> Total blackout. Bandit sanctuary. Careful. Chest here. Miscellaneous items. The broken items. Burnt book. Add additional items to the container that you'd like to have delivered. Okay. Yeah, that can go. Those are empty. They can go. And, um, eight torches. I'll just keep one. I can't put the unusual gem in. Well, whatever. And it ah, very good. I now detect you wish a pickup and delivery. Usually, I would send a courier for this. But since I am already here, there. Now everything I have, and these items shall be returned to camp. You are free to follow me if you wish. See to where your items will be delivered. Fuck yeah. As you desire. Follow me then. And learned. I can't place the uh, beacons, as he so eloquently puts it, on dead bodies. So I have to field strip all the corpses. No problem. I'm not stealing a bucket. Even though I want to. In memorandum of Paul, shut up. Butterflies are back. Oh my. They took us out to bear. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I don't know what that was about, but whatever. <laughs> and he gets stuck on a rock! Just needs a little nudge. There you go. on the side of the road, path, whatever. Instead of in the middle of it, you know, on a rock. What the fuck are you doing, dude? You just suddenly decide, oh, I'm going the wrong way, I think I'll turn around. Why? Did 
did your spider cat sense tingle and decide that there's enemies up ahead best to be avoided? Yeah, your Khajiit sense is going tingly. Or maybe not. Ingenuity of cross country. Hey, wait, that's Helgen. Okay, you went around Helgen. Interesting. Pathfinding is dynamic, but still got hung up on several rocks already. Seriously, don't need to touch your tail every time I get a few feet behind you, do I? Oof. Oof. There you go. Just need a little push every time. It's cheaper. Who are you shooting at? You can't hide from me. A hunter and her folk. Better keep my weapon out just in case. Come on, show yourself. Oh, there's a fox. That's probably what the hunter was so upset about. Side note, mushrooms. I chose this. I chose this. There's that fox again. Why are we following the thing? Take a leg. Why do we follow the fox? Seriously. Why? Talk Come. to me. We shall return to the camp. Oh, sorry. One track mine. Plus, you can't hear me asking questions. Riverwood? Is your camp in Riverwood? So odd not seeing a two headed cow. Another dog. Uh, the true High King of Skyrim. Yeah, if you're quick enough, you could probably shoot some of those. <gasps> Mushrooms!
What a little rabbit. Get back here. I want to chop you into pieces. That is mine now. Mushrooms! Wait for, for me, shaky. I'm glad to see you didn't get stuck on this road. Why do you have to interfere with their path? Why are they not barking about you interfering with official Thalmor embassy business? How did you learn this skill? To be ignored by the Empire? You must teach. Don't tell me you got distracted by the fish. Yeah. Definitely got distracted by the fish. Butterflies. Must have. Give me. Where's the other? There it is. It is mine now. Cue event trigger, the companion slaughtering a giant in that field directly ahead. I won't make it in time, they'll bark at me for not helping, even though it's not my goddamn job. Come here, butterfly. Finish slaying the giant. Don't tell me it's the courier. I've been looking for you. Oh dear God! Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Get on with it. Got to go. Items added. Read amazing race tweaks. KG. Yeah, that's another one. This really is a camp. Well, just as a courier would. I have placed the items in the delivery chest. Available for retrieval whenever you wish. Ah. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I like this. You see how everything is in the delivery chest, yes? Everything yep. is to your satisfaction. Oh yeah, rock on. As well it should be. You are the first person to make use of this service. It is important you see how it operates. This said, I am of the feeling there is more I can do for you. If you have the desire for more relics, you can acquire them from any East Empire merchant. I will ensure they always keep some in stock. For now here, thank you. This. On the house. But uh, all this said, I still fear there is more I can offer. Forgive Akajit's curiosity, only... Would you perhaps be interested in more services? Um, yeah. But what are they? You have already seen how my collection service works, and this is good. But oh, maybe yeah. there will be times that possession of all you have gathered is not what you desire. 
Perhaps you would prefer the item's value in septims instead. But for this, you must gather what you wish to sell and find merchant, haggle for price, blah, 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 big headache. Yes. However, Shakar can do all this for you instead. I offer service of selling. Put items in container, and instead of marking for collection, mark for sale. And everything I can take care of. Uh, does this interest you? Hell the fuck yeah! Also, I want to I want to know if you actually get a cut of the sales. I mean, doing all this for free. I mean, that's philanthropy, but the current situation demands, you know, economics be involved even though they're a joke. So, please explain. Of course, my friend. Allow my elaboration. You have already used the relics to mark items for collection and the results you have seen. However, with a few manipulations to the relic, a container can be marked so I will know you wish the items to be sold instead of just collected. In a situation such as this, <coughs> I would have my courier bring back your items, and I would begin to find buyers right away. You get almost as much coin as if you sold yourself, and with none of the headache or time wasted. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've got to make sure you stay in business here. So what is the catch? <laughs> you notice this. Your shrewdness serves you well. Yes, outside of trade expenses, I will be skimming nothing from the sale of your items. This will maximize your personal profit. Why would I do this, you ask? Simple. By being the one to sell your items, I establish reputation as a merchant able to acquire and move inventory. If applied correctly, this reputation has more value than coin. I mean, if, if the economy that exists in, in there doesn't fucking flatline, yeah, potentially, yeah. Ah, wonderful. Up. A decision most discerning, and something that shall benefit us both, I think. If you wish for me to sell what you have gathered, when placing a relic, simply mark the container. This will indicate to me your intent, and once collected, I will begin to sell your items right away. <coughs> or you can simply speak to one of our camp merchants if you wish me to sell something else. Any coin made shall be stored in one of our company's strong boxes. You can find this also at our outposts. Here. You will need this key to open. Ah, rock on. Rock on, dude. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Your appreciation is most welcome. You should know the more items of yours I can sell, the greater commercial connections I will establish. This will allow me to offer improvements to the services I provide you. So, make sure to send plenty of items my way, yes? Oh, and I mean, before yeah. you take your leave, there is one more thing. If you are so inclined, there is something you could help me with. All right. Go on. I have a business associate. He is not one for travel, and so resides at the East Empire Company warehouse in solitude. Both he and I have certain aspirations we are working towards. However, I fear with your help, things would advance a lot faster and smoother. If you've the time and desire, you should travel to solitude and speak with him. I'm sure he would have use for your assistance. He should be easy to find. He's a rather self-important looking Altmer named Corin. Tell him I have sent you. And thank you. With your help, ahead, 
I see a warm future for us all. I noticed for a moment there your mouth stopped moving. Let me, um, uh, screenshot. Can I do that? Shit. Hang on. Yes, it didn't catch the pause menu. Fuck yeah. I'll upload that. Pull it off the thingy. And then I'll use it. How far away am I? Very. Solitude. Yeah. Very far away. Need a ride? Yeah. I can take you to any of the whole. Where do you want to go? Solitude. Climbing back, and we'll be off. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city, capital of Skyrim. But I'm sure you'll. And the loading screen cut him off promptly. EEC warehouse. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Okay. Ah, yes. Hello to you. You'll have to forgive me. I'm rather preoccupied. Thus, I have no desire for idle chit chat. Me neither. Oh. <laughs> So you're the one Shikar spoke of in his latest correspondence. Hanava Khajiit, I see. I did. As if Shikar alone was not already enough. Hey! But yes, you were correct in your observation. I am indeed Corinne. A pleasure, I'm sure. Now, if Shikar sent you here, that likely means he thinks you of use to us. And I see no reason to question this. Tell me, did the enterprising young Khajiit explain the nature of his and my endeavor? Nope. Of course. Why bother explaining things when he can make his partner do it instead? Shikar likes to refer to us as business associates, but in truth, we're both merely junior traders of the East Empire Company. Right now, both he and I are on the lowest rungs of the mercantile ladder. But, we've agreed to help each other accelerate our commercial career. From what I understand, in exchange for his services, you've already begun assisting Shikar. His little project is rather simple, but I'll admit, quite creative. I personally would have never thought to utilize the relics in the way he has. My plans, however, are a little more ambitious, and I would welcome your assistance. All right. But first, I'd like to moan, mo, know more about these relics. Ah, yes, the relics. Thusly named because, well, we have no idea what they are or where they came from. Many crates of the things were inexplicably shipped here, and with no accompanying paperwork, we had no choice but to hold on to them. Months passed. And with no inquiries coming our way, I thought it may be prudent to perhaps find a private buyer for the curious devices. However, 
attempting to sell such volume, and with us being relatively unknown in the world of trade, this proved to be next to impossible. At least, doing so without drawing unwanted attention to us. That's when Shikar had his idea to instead use the devices to help us build a reputation and then sell the relics. That Khajiit is smarter than he looks. Nice. Let's hear it. You see, the East Empire's position in Skyrim is tenuous. Our presence is tolerated at best, and we're severely limited in our operations. Officially, I'm not even sure we're sanctioned to be here. So, as you can imagine, our profit margin is as diluted as the wine at the Winking Skeever. But, if we had the approval to do business directly from a Yarl, we'd then be free to expand our activities within each hold. Solidifying the East Empire's position, creating profit for all concerned, not to mention demonstrating our worth to our employers. And so, I've been attempting to arrange unofficial meetings, so that we may come to an understanding with the many Yarls of this vast province. I have a better idea. I don't agree with your choice of tactician and approach, but fuck it. If that rationale helps you sleep better at night, who am I to dissuade you? Anyhow, I doubt you'll be surprised to hear most y'alls want nothing to do with an upstart high elf under the employ of a foreign organization. Nevertheless, yeah. we have Biggest. had interest from at least one hold. The Jarl of Winterhold, Courier, has agreed to speak with us. Winterhold is generally viewed as one of the more desolate holds, a pale shadow of its former glory, which may explain their willingness to talk. I was intending to speak with Winterhold Jarl myself, but I feel you may get better results. You may not be of this land, but you are also not of the East Empire Company. That alone should provide you with more favorable disposition. So, what I ask of you is this. Visit Winterhold on my behalf, and attempt to acquire the Jarl's approval for our presence within their hold. In exchange, I will provide you a percentage of the wealth and materials we will acquire as a result. Sound fair? Yeah, no more than 10%. You guys are going to need the rest for further expansion. Very good. Here, take this. I've already done some research into this particular Jarl, and I have the feeling that book I gave you, if offered as a gift, may help smooth negotiations to our favor. However, if you feel other tactics may be more apt, I will refer to your judgment. Just get the Jarl to agree to our presence within their hold. Easy enough, but I don't guarantee it in no time, and I really don't want to head there right immediately, but sure, I'll just pick one of these top two options. Neener, neener, niner, no. Pick one, and let's go! I trust that you will. I wish you luck. Oh, and have this, too. That ring marks you as someone empowered to speak on our behalf. It'll also get you a discount with most merchants. Enjoy. Give the Jarl the book that was provided at Oh, it's you. Video. Hello again. I haven't left yet, dude. Are you drunk already? Guard, watch him. He may be drunk. I need a shoulder to lean on. So he doesn't fall into the ocean. Wrong way. <clears throat> I 
Mushrooms. Hey, buddy. There. <laughs> hey there, there. How you doing? Thanks for carrying me up here. Fun. That door in. Oh, that's the gate. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. Or you'll end up like Rogvir. Who's Rogvir? I gotta take a small moment to go and do a thing. I'm just gonna step outside for a breather. I'll be back.
Alrighty. I'm back! <laughs> Save again. Yeah! I know what's about to happen. I'm gonna watch a guy get executed. And then I'm gonna look for Shiogaroth! They can't hurt Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Swara, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You betrayed us! Traitor! Did he know? You should tell her that her uncle Get is on with betrayed it. his high king. Best she know now, Advar. You're all heart, Vivian. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't Traitor. deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Lana. challenged Torig. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Uh -huh. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. And I go to loot you. Thank you. <gasps> Some gate guard you were. Adding insult, Andrew, seriously. Good riddance I to think bad I rubbish, I say. More. What are you? you died well. <laughs> A fucking cod player? Wait, you wanted me to come in here. And now you want me to go out of here? I don't get it. Oh, duh. <laughs> yep. Idiot katana strikes again. Ah, well. I'm off to find Shiogara. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Why do all the guards keep saying that to me? Wait, are you wearing Proud Spire Manor? Now there's a fine home. Up for sale nice too. Nice gauntlet. If you're interested, talk to the steward in the keep. Okay. Uh. Hey, you got some nice gauntlets too. And if you and then I shall create the deadly neurotoxin. Are you who I think you are? You you help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. A little bit. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. So what do you need? <laughs> My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? <clears throat> yeah, where can I find him? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Yarrow. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the <laughs> forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Okay. Until next time. You take care, dude. Oh, wrong button. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. Yeah, 
I also heard it said that it was a, a fair combat encounter with consent to a challenge. <clears throat> a blue palace. It looks gray to me. And the inside looks no bluer either. <laughs> Please don't interrupt the court. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under Your my Eminence, rule. my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragon Bridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. But about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. I've got what I came for. I better get back to Dragon Bridge. Yeah, the cave. I've done my part. Dragon Bridge will have extra guards. Folk Firebeard will find a way to take care of the cave. Okay. I'd better get going. Good for you. I am the Jarl Steward. If you have court business to tend to, you talk to me. Um, two things. First. I want to get into the Pelagius wing. Absolutely not. That wing what? has been sealed for hundreds of years, and for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Ghost okay. or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Feel free to return to me with questions. The blue, the Jarl, you mean yeah, the, the Dragon cave. Bridge issue. I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Okay. Please, feel welcome in the... What do you want, Cat? Rar. The cave. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. The Absolutely Pelagius Wing. not. That wing has been yes. sealed. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark Damn. rule. Be quick. I have little patience away. for mundane concerns. Please, Take care of yourself and always remember, the, of the world is ripe with people looking to spill you your gotta blood. gotta find someone who will let me in. Now, if I remember correctly from the last time or two that I've done this, there should be a lady who will actually help me. Watch your feet. We just clean there. Um, okay. Can you help me get into Pelagius' wing? Not in your life. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdy going in every year to clean out the spiders. Huh. A tactically inserted misdirection, aka just plain fucking lying, is definitely going to happen. If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel better. Wonderful. If I may interject, but you've gone back to sleep. You know, I'll just say it anyway. I got better. Hello. 
I'm going into the wing. I was lied to. This is not a wing. It's a bloody adjunction. Well, technically it's a, uh, a webby injunction. A adjunction injunction. Fucking Spider-Man was squeeging like a madman in here. Marty! Pelly, my dear. Oh, I couldn't. It goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to butterfly. do. Butterfly. So many undesirable things. Get back here, butterfly. I want you. Buffoons. Oh, yes, detractors. Why, my... My headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are <laughs> far too hard on yourself. My dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. <laughs> you are the best septum that's uh. ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god. And that's hardly sporting. You know... I no, was there for that cool. whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho oh, oh, ho oh, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've yeah, said countless times before. Yourself. How to rumpf! Well, then, jittery, if you're going like... to be like that, perhaps or it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. <gasps> hey, come back here. I wanted to speak to you. You hold on a second there. I've got butterflies to tend to. Get back here, you little bastard. Okay, stop flitting around. Where'd you go? You get out of that tree. Despite other... Cats being able to climb for some reason, I just can't. You winged fiends. You titillating temptresses. Or tempter. Tempt. Tempting. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll come up with another alliteration. Hardly alliterative, even if the letters V and W are close together. Get down out of that tree! God damn it, I don't have my axe. Got, gotcha! First up, blue one. Ah! Got it, the blue one. Now, um, shit. I can't access the pie I took off How the plate. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. I know, right? You gonna eat that? How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Yeah, who were you talking to? Pelagius the Third. Now... Mm. Surely even you know about Pelagius' decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death! That's right! Death! Outlawed! <laughs> that is inspired. <laughs> and completely in the fun way. <laughs> I might just try that. Although... The abstract personification of non-existence. Well, technically, it's not non-existence. Technically, death doesn't abide by laws concocted by the mind of mortals. So, I will have to try using magic to forbid death. That should work. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. What kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. 
I haven't got an eternity. Yes, you have. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? I don't have an Argonian concubine with a message written on her back. Or his back. Either way. Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molai? Okay. No, no. Little Tim. The toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong no. on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> yes. No matter. Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's know. crazy! You do realize who you're dealing with here. Yeah? Aww. I can't say it in the game's options, <laughs> but I do know who I'm dealing with. A rather fun fellow. <sighs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> what are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably <laughs> bored. <laughs> I mean, really. Here you stand. Before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness. And all you deem fit to do is deliver a message? How sad. Well, I tried eating the apple pie, but it just won't pop up from my inventory. Or rather, my inventory won't pop up so I can select it and eat it. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, yes, apple how much time off could a question. demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Okay. I already know what to do. But... I'm gonna do something else instead. Is it? Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> Now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Damn it. Huh? I wanted to you Didn't see that coming, did you? Wait. If we're in his mind, then what are the butterflies doing here? Those belong in his stomach. I'll have to remove them all. Okay. Eh. Good. Ah, there's another one. Got it. Yes. Two trees down. Um, how many trees are in his mind? Yeah, then never mind. And you? Ah! It's in my hands! Hey, you wouldn't mind if I, um... Yeah. I'm just... I'm gonna enjoy a few snacks. And, uh... Some drinks. Nice. Thank ya. Roll. 
Why not? Like it. You are a madman. You've locked me out of being able to eat those delicious snacks. Why won't this tree transform? It's a fully grown up thought. Well, it twitched a little. Probably due to the mental breeze. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need Apparently to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Where'd the butterfly go? It seems to have vanquished itself. Oh, there's one. I'm trying to hit the damn butterfly. Hold still, you. Win this round, Booterflies. Pelagius, the tormented. I know. Hey, uh uh. That, that is mine. Why can't I attack you? Fuck that, there's more butterflies. I can't jump over there to you. Butterfly, you're gonna have to come closer to me. You're not even affected by this staff. I've been gypped by a madman with cheese. I can't sleep in this bed. Picked a bad time to get lost, friend. I'm not your friend, but hey. <gasps> I just turned a bandit female into Pelagius' son. Okay. Moving right along. Never should have come here. I have the power of a mad <laughs> god on my side. What do you have, fireballs? Oh dear god, they're very powerful. There. He viewed his wife, or rather a sultry maiden as an old hag. He viewed his farm as some sort of wild beast. Himself as a bandit. Nah, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, exactly. And you. Listen, you. Stop this. Ah. Well, now that's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Yeah, I didn't expect to be damaged inside some dude's brain. Let me search the chest. I want loot.
curses! And much cussing. God damn it, motherfucking bullshit. Can't catch that blue butterfly. Butterfly. Hey! I'm all ears! Now you huh? Now you are. Yes? There, now I caught the butterfly. Ah, mushrooms. I don't know how many butterflies I've collected, but... <laughs> They're all mine now. Hello? Am I saying things to myself? Yes, yes. You enjoy your hey, cheese. I'm busy doing the fish. It's the only thing I can it's do. It's a very is delicate up. state of mind. Delicate state of mind. Ah, good, good. No more barking at all hours and chewing up the slippers. You use the hemlock then. Oh, damned good idea. Ah, um. We're not talking about Barbas, are we? Clavicus Vile's dog? Ooh. Really? Awkward. Oh. Oh, that's right. Pelagius. Uh, yes. Huh. Yes, now I recall. Oh, well done. Well done. Now, keep going. Well, this is a first for me. Do you I had no idea he would say something fish about. Stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Do you mind? I'm not busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. I had no idea oh, he would say something. Good choice! About Clavicus Vile and his dog. Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Both? Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age the danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, but they do the same. I can't affect theirs, but I can affect that one. I really don't want to. Oh, no I thought you'd never figure it out! With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. Can I jump down in here? No, no, I can't. Damn. <laughs> it would have been nice. I can sit on that one, or that one. But I can't jump down into the arena. <coughs> Stop it. I will end you. Or transform you. I'll keep wasting my time poking at you. With my claws. Little bastard. <coughs> You quit that! Stop it! Now what was it he said about a certain thing on Barbos? Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. I would not know about that. 
Maybe I'll learn, maybe I won't. Who knows? Ah! So now, my dear Pelagius, can hate himself for being legitimately afraid of things that actually threaten his existence. But <coughs> only during the day? Honestly, I can't keep up. But by all means, don't stop now! Interesting. Every time you do a thing here, and then come back and talk to him, he's got something to say about it. I didn't ah, know that before now. Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. What? But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Never mind, I found butterflies. I can take you. Two for one. Hell yeah. seem to be having a small problem, or perhaps it's a big problem. Maybe we should... You won't even live to regret this! I've got you like Someone there. Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. Need something? Yes? Hey, he's got two copies of Confidence now. A little extra? And a big reserve. <laughs> How fittingly, awesomely amusing. Oh, he's got the confidence. And then a little something extra. I'm not quite done. I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of I really mind. want to catch all the butterflies. Fixed is mine. But <laughs> bloody hell, you haven't. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. You can't take that now. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while well, I'm gone simply boggled. I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Um, there. Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Eh, 
Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabba Jack as a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. A <laughs> symbol of your hilarity. Of and if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta! Now, butterflies. No! I invented the butterflies! Hold on. Weapons. I have Wabba Jack. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Prices are fifteen percent higher. Okay. Equip. What? Oh, he added fine clothes to my inventory. I forgot about that. Food, apple pie, yes! Bread, wine, cheese? Fresh cheese from the mind of Pelagius. I'll have some leaks. Got a free mammoth snail. Fuck yeah. It's time to get wretchedly drunk. Ingredients. Butterfly wings. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. I was able to catch the butterflies and keep them. So, it's a documented truth now. You can carry things out of Pelagius' mind if you loot them while you're in there. The butterflies, the stuff off the table. If only he had some buckets to spare. The goblets came with me. And the jug. And the plates. Awesome. What? Why? Three, four. I'm not dropping any ingredients. That's just not gonna happen. Mm, and that can go. Yeah, that, that too. Oh, definitely that. I suppose the fur stuff can go. Increase magic. Regenerate magic. Yeah, okay. Yeah. One pound overweight. <clears throat> First, equip a weapon to poison it. Okay, fine. The Wabba Jack. Current weapon cannot be poisoned. Are you telling me I can't lace magic bolts of energy with poison as they emerge from the weapon? 
that it can't be modified to carry the bloody poison with it? Oh, you min... You minion! that and those I'm not eating an entire cheese wheel I'll have the wedges here all right sir fifth of thieves it's mine now and i can't run again <sighs> drinks drinks that i can drink right now bucket damn you this is not the where I want to be I'm keeping my buckets. They're just not leaving. I has to homage. I went the wrong way. Yes, I did. Is there a bucket back here? It. There's a kettle. Kettle, thou art black. And I'm not a pot. <laughs> I'll put the fly in a jar. I must have it. That's locked off. There's the door. Oh, hello. Are you? Just tidying up. Are you my gallant hero? Have you come to whisk me away to a life of adventure and romance? No. Absolutely not. Race tweets. Kate. 
do that next time. But for now, I've been rambling on long enough. And remember, you can take things out of the mind of Pelagius the Mad. Until next time.